Hi Tara, thanks for meeting with me today. Um, so I just wanted to show you what I found uh, from Whitewater. You can see on my screen I'm at the Whitewater webpage, <laughs> uww.edu. Okay, from here I want you to click Academics and then we're going to scroll down and click College of Education. Go ahead and click that one. So on this page, oh no, sorry, one more click. Click here majors and minors learn learn about our majors and minors so then this is the page i want you to focus on here it lists all of the majors and minors for undergraduates that's you you're an undergraduate and we're going to first oops, we're going to first look at elementary education. So don't click it but notice here it says elementary education and then it's a major and on the right hand side there are three icons the first icon don't click it it links to the web page all about this major so um, yeah you can click it and go look at it the, but for the i'm going to keep going for the next one the second icon that's a link to the four-year plan we're going to look at that one in just a minute and then the third is the learning outcomes great reference information you can take a look at that too okay so elementary education is the major let's keep scrolling down and look at special ed because that's your specialty. So under special ed, then we see they have four options. Two of them are minors. They have this minor and this minor. And notice the name of this second minor, special ed for non-education majors. That's not you, you're an education major. And so I believe this is the one that you're gonna pursue. That's my best guess. Check it out with other advisors, meet with a white water transfer advisor, but I think that's the one we're gonna aim for. And then notice the three icons. They have their own webpage, go look at it, but they do not have a four-year plan. That's because you'll complete the minor underneath the elementary ed major. Does that make sense? You get the major and then your minor is like your specialty. It's your, your, your specialty, yeah. Okay, so let's go back up and look at elementary ed again. They're alphabetical, so I'm gonna go back up. Elementary ed, and let's take a look at that four-year plan, the second link there. You go ahead and do this, download a copy of the four-year plan. One little note, yeah, see it says sample. The other thing is that four-year plans change. They change all the time. You know, faculty wanna, oh, I wanna change this class and da-da-da-da-da. So use this as a guide. This is a great guide to follow for now, but it's not set in stone. So um, just be mindful of that. Okay, so the four-year plan is really helpful because you see things like here, Whitewater requires this class called English 100. That's a match to our English 1. Whitewater requires English 102. That's a match to our English 2. Great. So, right, so we're lining up all of these matches. Um, there are a couple other things, like I talked about, uh, where you're planning to take courses that match, like personal health and fitness. Um, there are other ones that I didn't talk to you about, but that you should investigate. For example, we teach a class that's a match for this one, math for the elementary teacher part one. And I didn't mention it because I wasn't sure if it was required for you. So what I want you to do is I want you to go through every class and I want you to look to see is there a match for this class at Madison College? Because you could take math for the elementary teacher part one at Madison College, use it towards your electives and get it done at Whitewater. The other thing to notice is these are all classes that a Whitewater student would typically take in their freshman year, right? So that's why you wanna get these done with. You wanna get these out of the way. Now, does every Whitewater student know that? No, plenty of students don't know what they wanna be their freshman year. So there's gonna be plenty of students who don't have these classes done. So if you can't squeeze them in here at Madison College, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. You'll get them done. Um, and other, there's other cases where you're not gonna find a match. Um, like, I, I don't know, but I can't remember. Something like maybe this new student seminar, or for example, um, intro to special education. Um, oh, notice that typo, that's funny. We, we don't currently have that class at Madison College, so you have to wait and take it at Whitewater. Okay, so now you're probably asking yourself, how do I know if there's a match? Well, let's go ahead. I'm going to go down a little bit and let's take a look for a class. For example, 
this one, Ed Found 243, Foundations for Education in a Pluralistic Society. I actually talked to you about this one, but we're going to use it as our example. I want you to go to Transferology, create an account, log in. Notice my screen says Transferology Lab. That's just because I'm a faculty. You'll go to Transferology. It's the exact same thing. It'll look exactly the same. I don't know why they have to give mine a special name. Anyway, you're going to say Transferring to, I'm going to choose Whitewater. Transferring from, I'm going to type in Madison, and then look what happens. This will happen to you, too. You'll you type in the word Madison, and it'll pull up Madison Area Technical College. And then click this little blue, um, what is that thing called? Um, magnifying glass. Click that little blue magnifying glass. On the left are all of the classes for Madison College. On the right are all of the classes for Whitewater by department. And the departments are alphabetical. So it starts with accounting, which is not helpful, right? We're not accounting students. So we're going to change the department to Ed Found, because that was the class I wanted to find. It was Ed Found 243. So now here's the department Ed Found, and I'm going to scroll down. And there it is, Ed Found 243, Foundations of Education. And so that's the Whitewater class. Now I'm going to look over here. Do we at Madison College have a match? Yes, we do. <laughs> right? I told you about this one already. So in the fall, you should consider taking education in a pluralistic society because it's a match. It'll fulfill their requirement. Um, and I know it's cumbersome, but I want you to do that with all of the classes and just look and see what can I find a match for. And in my email, I'm going to mention too what what I think is a good match for you. All right, email me back if you have any questions at all.